Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Well, I have a real treat for you today. You know, when I started my online business, what came to me were all these beautiful people on Facebook and elsewhere that um, we just kind of drew ourselves to each other because of similar likes and um, thoughts and activities. And so one of those people um, is Heather. Yeah, and I reached out to Heather the other day because she had put on Facebook some beautiful rocks that she was painting. And so I reached out to her the other day and asked her why she decided to start painting. And this is uh, what she said. She has an audio here on here. She was actually driving. So listen to what she says. And then I'll be back in just a few minutes to, um, to tell you my thoughts on this. On my way home, and I have about 200 miles left, so I figured I can't type, but I can send you um, an audio. So the reason why I started painting, um, I don't know, I don't really have a reason. Like, I always have been creating art since I was a kid. Um, that was highly, highly cultivated in my house. My dad draws, my sister actually paints too, and she does charcoal. My mom, she doesn't really uh, draw, but she, she likes to color stuff, like she does that all the time. So yeah, that was always highly cultivated. Um, I always kind of gravitated towards the arts in school. Um, it was always my strong point. And um, I don't know if this is going to sound crazy, but my whole family has ADHD, like everybody. We've all been diagnosed with it. Uh, my dad, my mom, both sides, my sister, my aunt. Um, and while there's a lot of struggles with that condition, I also find that everyone I know who has it uh, has a huge imagination and is highly creative. And I think that's because... You can't really filter anything out. You're just being bombarded with stuff all the time. Your mind is going nonstop. And I know for myself that um, I can actually think of a specific example. The, the time that I was painting the rock with the trees and the stars, that took me, I think, about an hour, and I forgot my name, and uh, I didn't even know where I was, and, you know, the whole time I was changing, I just didn't exist. I know that sounds very dramatic, but, it, I mean, I forget everything, every stress, every, every thought. Um, so, for me, with a person with ADHD who... You know, your mind is constantly going. It's just like little post-it notes falling on you all the time of information. Um, when I paint, I just, it calms me down and it feels really, really nice. Maybe because I'm getting everything out of my head onto paper or a rock. Well, wow. I hope you enjoyed her audio. I hope you could hear it uh, the way that um, that I recorded it because... This is exactly the reason why I asked Heather why she started painting rocks. And what came out of her mouth is something I never expected that I would hear her say, but it is in such congruency what I'm trying to give you here as far as craft projects and um, just tapping into your creativity. Now, what I'm talking about is when she started talking about her whole family being creative and the problems that they've had um, with their um, their attention deficit, and you know, it was amazing. It was amazing to me what she said when she talked about painting the rock with the uh, blue sky and the stars, uh, the trees and the stars, and she said it was almost like an outer body experience for her that she forgot her name. How wonderful 
that is to be so immersed into a project of some sort, a book or whatever, that you forget where you are and who you are. That, my friends, is the whole reason why I am doing Crafts in a Carafe, to get people to create, to fall back into a, a, a time where nothing bothers them, their worries go away, and they calm themselves down and forget who they are. And what a pleasure it was to, for me to hear that that happened to Heather. So that's it. I just wanted to stop by and, and share this little video with you. Read the rest of my blog if you haven't already done so. And if you'd like to connect, please do. Please leave me a comment or find me on Facebook. Let's connect because I want to help you. I want to help you to become creative, to create, so that you forget who you are for a few minutes a day or a couple of hours a week or whatever. So that's it. I'll see you soon. Now go make it a great day and create.